I didn't give my twin brother my kidney because he had an affair with my girlfriend and then outed me as bisexual. I was told to post my story here and figured this was my revenge cast. Fake names for obvious reasons me equals Ryan brother equals Sebastian mom equals mom dad equals dad sister equals Jane best friend equals Isaac cousin equals Kai backstabbing Cal equals girlfriend husband equals Daniel. I Ryan and my twin brother Sebastian have never ever been close, in fact he made life hell growing up and my parents didn't help by playing favorites getting him better stuff on our birthday, only going to see films he liked at the cinema and giving him extra money for housework despite us doing the same amount of work he would always put me down, belittle me, bully me with his friends at school, break my stuff and is then blame me and was just a pain in general. Growing up the only people I knew to rely on was my older sister Jane, my cousin Kai and best friend Isaac who all knew what an awful person my brother was. Anyway cut to when I was 17 and I had my first girlfriend, someone I loved very much. We didn't have fun time cause she wanted to wait till her 18th birthday to lose her virginity, but it turns out that she was having an affair with my brother behind my back for half the time we were together and only got caught when it was revealed she was pregnant. I was crushed, she knew how much I hated my brother and she saw some of the awful things he did to me but she still went and did that. Cheating is bad enough but to do it with him of all people. I punched him in the face and broke his nose and made him lose a tooth but according to my parents I'm the one in the wrong and now we have to help this girl who is carrying my brother's child and have to help support them. My brother then said he had no intention of being a father and told my girlfriend to get an abortion. She then ran out of town and I never saw her again. Don't know if she had the baby or aborted all I know was that she was gone and my folks were still praising my brother as the golden child I was still the black sheep and failure as usual. Another year goes past and me and my brother still despise each other but I had started dating again, was a long while but I found someone. Found a boy I liked. I am Bifun Taimul and this new guy Daniel I had met at college caught my eye. He was deaf and I studied sign language out of boredom so we got talking and things just seemed to click. We date, fall in love, bring him to my friend Isaac's party to introduce him to friends and all feels great. At this point the only one who knew I was bi was Isaac but one day walking into a cinema holding my boyfriend's hand I bump into my evil twin. He points, laughs and says some homophobic remarks. I tell him to go duck himself and I go see a movie with my arm round my boyfriend. When I got home after dropping my boyfriend home I knew I'd be facing something as I walked through the front door. I saw both my parents on the sofa, my mother crying about how on earth could she have given birth to someone so disgusting was it too much to hope she saw the light and was talking about my brother but nope she was talking about me and how I'm a stain on our family's name. My father gets up to yell at me, spout homophobic remarks and slurs. At this point I see my brother up the staircase with a acid eating grin on his face, he then comes down and says is uncomfortable with sharing a room with a fad and my folks kick me out there and then. With what little clothes and money I had I went to Isaac's house and his family took me in where I stayed for 6 months actually experiencing familial love and affection and Isaac's mother and stepdad I consider my own parents now. Eventually me, Daniel and Isaac all get a 2 bedroom flat together and all is good for the time being. So cut to December last year, me and my boyfriend now husband Daniel are married Isaac was my best man. My sister and cousin Kai walked me down the aisle I have a brilliant job in graphic design, have my own house by the sea and life has never been better. However I got a call from my sister that my brother was in hospital. I hadn't thought about him that much over the 9 year period since I was kicked out but being reminded of his existence brought up a lot of painful memories for me. I was told by my sister that Sebastian wanted to see me and that it was urgent. So I went to the hospital he was in and met my sister outside the front entrance, I ask her what this is all about but she doesn't tell me and that I need to ask my twin. So I arrive to where my brother is who have my parents at his side and my folks actually look happy to see me, as if what they did to me hadn't happened and Sebastian also looked really pleased to see me. 
It's safe to say something was off. Eventually I ask what's going on and why was I even here to which my brother tells the family to leave us two alone. He looks so weak as before he used to intimidate me so much. He told me that he was dying from kidney failure and has been for the past few years but now he didn't have long left, I knew immediately where this was going. He then said he always regretted that we never got along at which point I told him no he looked confused and asked what I was on about so I simply told him I wasn't going to donate my kidney to save him. He looked as if I had just acid in his food. He then went on about how bad the situation was and that he really was sorry for all the things we did to each other growing up. Like excuse me? We did to each other? I told him that I just wanted a brother growing up that cared and loved me who wouldn't try and break me every day for 18 years. He then called in our mom and dad and told them that I wasn't going to give up my kidney. They then started to spout off that I owed them for my existence and that I have a duty to look after family. I asked them where that duty was when they kicked me out of the house or where that duty was every time my brother gave me a black eye or their duty was to look after their grandchild when Sebastian decided he didn't want to be a father. I said for all the things is done from outing me to having an affair with my girlfriend and abandoning his child that this was the universe's and my way of finally giving back what he dished out to bite him in the essay. I then turned around and walked out of the room having that be the last time I ever saw Sebastian again. Not sure why they'd want a fa oats kidney anyway. I walked past my sister who gave me a look, I gave her a look back who then in turn gave me a look that said I understand after leaving the hospital I felt as if a great weight had been taken off my shoulders, I went home and never looked back pleased with my decision. Now last week I get a call from my sister calling to inform me that Sebastian had died. She asked if I was okay and I said I was, that I didn't really feel anything in all honesty. She said she understood to a degree as Sebastian hadn't been all that kind to her over the years either. I had my husband and Isaac there to support me honestly at this point Isaac may as well be our adopted child since is living with us till this whole situation with the world is over the next day I was getting calls and texts from family members I hadn't spoken to in years telling me that in going to hell for being a bad son, being a bad brother and for being a fad and that me and my husband don't deserve children hubby and I have been looking into adoption and surrogacy this makes me second guess my choice of not giving my brother my kidney, even in death is making things harder for me. I did wonder if I was a bad person and if I made the wrong decision but I knew that if I was in that position I would have been left for dead. Screw him. Other bits of information that may clear things up. His renal failure was from living a hardcore lifestyle of drugs and alcohol. My folks and sister did get themselves tested to see if their matches and none of them were. I disowned them of being my family years ago apart from Jane so when I got married I took my husband's last name and hyphen it with Isaac's last name to which his folks were very pleased about. Some family Kai's folks and my dad's brother have actually called to see how I'm doing and say they don't judge me for what happened. Others however have continued with said abuse whom I have now blocked. If he had been a good brother throughout my life, I'd have done it without a second thought. I'd have done the same for Jane, Kai, Isaac and my husband. But I felt he didn't deserve it. It's unlikely I'll ever see my parents again and I'll make sure my children will never meet them. My revenge to them will be being a better parent than they ever were.